to understand that how a stock's market price approaches its intrinsic value we have an example to consider now for undervalued stock whose intrinsic value is greater than its current price or p not this means that there is some discrepancy now for such stock the expected rate of capital gain needs certain assumptions like this discrepancy will never disappear the p not will tend upward at the rate of g forever the discrepancy between v not and p not will grow also at the same rate we can also see this discrepancy in our example where for the uh, current year the discrepancy is equal to two dollar and that is the difference between v not and p not and for next year the discrepancy remains the same at least at two but the value is 2.08 so this discrepancy is also growing for the second year this means that expected return will exceed the required rate of return or the k as the dividend yield is higher than it would be provided the present value of the stock or p not or uh, uh, stock's current market price is equal to its intrinsic value this means if we quantify our assumption then expected return is equal to d1 over p not plus g we have d1 of four dollars and current stock price of 48 dollar we have growth rate of four percent the resulting answer is 12.3 percent so our uh, expected rate of return has also been increased now under identifying this undervalued stock can get an expected dividend that will be exceeding the required return by 30 p basis point as we have seen our example now there is an alternative to this assumption and that says that the gap between p naught and v naught will be vanished by year end uh, so the p naught will be equal v naught this means that it will be equal to 52 dollar in our example if we see let's see the example uh, expected return which is equal to p1 plus p naught p1 over p naught plus uh, p1 minus p naught over p naught so we have two components here dividend yield and the capital gain yield this means that we have a 4 divided by 48 plus 52 minus 48 divided by 48 so when we sum up these two yields we have expected a rate of return of 16.67 percent the stock in future expect to generate only fair rate of return means that many stock analysts then assume that p naught will approaches to v naught gradually over a certain period of time for example over a five year period the expected one year holding period return may be somewhere between 12.33 percent and the 16.67 percent that we have computed earlier